Alex here. Today we're going to talk about the WGU Computer Science Master's Degree. It has finally launched. This first became rumors around 2017. 2017. So here we are eight years later and it has finally launched. We have heard of program mentors leaking the launch of this program all the way back to 2019. So the fact that it has finally come and not only is there one, there is two degrees the computer science master's degree and the software engineering master's degree two degrees guys so both degrees will have three concentrations each and i will make a separate video for each concentration for both degrees so that's basically four computer science master degree videos and four software engineering master degree videos today we'll, we'll, i don't have the curriculum right now because i am recording this on sunday night and according to like a hundred WGU students by now who have leaked it on Reddit and uh, YouTube and other places. The WGU has emailed all these current students in the computer science and software engineering programs that the curriculum will come out on Monday and it will be officially announced on Monday. At the time of recording this, it is still not officially announced except for the emails WGU has sent to the software engineering and computer science current students. So it's still not officially announced, but it will be by the time you see this video. However, I do not have the curriculum since I am recording this Sunday night. But like I said, I will go over all the tracks, all the three tracks for each degree, and I will go over the curriculum in those videos. For example, the AI track for computer science. I'll make a video for that. I'll go over the entire curriculum. Basically, I'll go over the entire track. So. This video is more of a general video today, and we're going to talk about uh, the computer science degree, and we're going to talk about the three tracks in that degree. And if you should do the computer science master's degree, or maybe you should do the software engineering master's degree. So let's get into the video today, guys. It's going to be three different tracks in this degree that you can follow. My best guess, and I could be extremely wrong on this, is there'll probably be like five or six courses, which is about half the degree. Let's just say six courses that all overlap with each other. And then there'll be like four courses, maybe five, where they're part of the track. So basically you'll get like six core classes and then four AI and machine learning classes. So track number one is AI and machine learning. And basically this will probably be a very math heavy uh, portion of the computer science degree. I have a feeling this will probably be the most popular uh, the most popular concentration as well. Out of the two degrees and all six concentrations, I do feel like this will probably be the most popular. And it's also gonna be the hardest as well, for sure. Like this, no doubt this will be the hardest one. Um, so AI and machine learning, uh, like I said, you gotta be good on the math. Uh, if you've never taken a machine learning class, it can be kind of difficult to learn the concepts. You know, you're gonna need to learn uh, programming. You're gonna need to learn, you know, all I'm not sure what WG is going to use for this uh, degree. I would assume they're going to have you learn PyTorch and things like that, uh, TensorFlow. Uh, this is just me guessing. I won't know the curriculum until tomorrow, and I'm making this video before that. But if you do want to work a career as an AI engineer, you want to get into machine learning, you know, like software engineering is not really the thing you want to get into, or perhaps you're in the software engineering right now and you want to try to get in on the AI craze, you get, on, get in on machine learning, you definitely need a master's degree when it comes to AI and machine learning stuff, and this can help you get there or help you transition to there. So uh, AI is the future, and this would probably be a great, uh, a great concentration to do. Now, though, there, the software engineering degree, which I might not make a video on for a little bit, but I'll try to make a video on that when I can. That degree will also have an AI concentration, which will be called AI engineering, and it will be a little less math intensive. Uh, you also get a pretty cool sounding concentration, which is AI engineering, and it will most it will focus more on application than theory. So this one focuses more on theory. It is a computer science degree, and then the software engineering AI engineering will focus on uh, basically application, mostly enterprise slash business application. Like I think in that one, you will learn how to integrate AI with business. Now, like I said, this will probably be the most popular track, and it's the one I'm currently leaning towards myself at the moment i honestly don't know which degree i'm going to do whether it's computer science or software engineering i'm leaning computer science and i'm leaning towards the ai and machine learning uh, track as well 
However, I am a very busy person. I'm not sure I have time to be doing an extremely math intensive degree. So I will take a look at the curriculum and whether I want to do it uh, or not. Uh, a lot of you are familiar with me that I was in the Georgia Tech computer science program. I have taken a break from that program and I've been waiting for WGU to announce a program. Because, like I said, I've been busy with YouTube and uh, my own business and my own day job and all the other things I have going on in my life. So this degree I've been waiting for for a long time and I'm very, very happy that it is here. If you guys are looking for me to go over the curriculum and what the course will have in it, uh, I will say that when I make the videos for these certain tracks, this is more of a general video. I'm not really going to dive in to what the content of the degree is going to be. Now, WGU has sent out a summary that this AI, uh, this AI track will focus on machine learning, artificial intelligence, deep learning, and natural language processing. So it'll focus on those categories and those things. So basically, this is a full-fledged AI track uh, very, uh, very theory based and a very, I'm assuming it's going to be a very good curriculum. The other track will be human computer interaction. Uh, a lot of computer science master's degrees have this track. Uh, the Georgia tech master's degree got this track like a year and a half ago. So human computer interaction is going to always be the least math heavy, uh, track. So what is human computer interaction? This is basically user experience design which is what WGU has as one of their bachelor degrees, uh, basically like UX, UI UX design. But human computer interaction is not just UI UX design. It's not just user experience. There's also some psychology that goes in, into it as well. Like they kind of blend psychology with computer science in some of the courses. So you, you kind of get like psychology slash computer science courses. And then you also get a lot of user experience and UI UX design courses as well, uh, designing interfaces, you know, basically a big, big focus on designing and also learning the psychology of what a user would find a, like aesthetically pleasing. So you'll learn a lot regarding that. So the human computer interaction tracks are always known as like the easiest track. Not that I'm saying, you know, you shouldn't do it because it's easy. Heck, I might even do it myself. Who knows? I haven't decided which track I will do, although I'm definitely going to do one of these degrees and one of these tracks. But uh, human-computer interaction, if you love designing things, especially if you're coming from the user experience design degree, like if you did the user experience degree at WGU, if you get this degree and do the this track, it'll look great on your resume. A computer science master's degree. Because usually these UI UX designer jobs... They do want to see a bachelor's and master's for like any UI UX design job. Usually they want both a bachelor's and master's and they actually do want one of the degrees to be computer science and one of the degrees to be human computer interaction. So if you went to WGU and did the user experience degree and then did the human computer interaction master's computer science degree, you'll look very, very appealing for UI UX designer jobs. So that would be a great uh, thing to do. Also, if you, came from a computer science degree or a software engineering degree, this would also be a great track to do as well. So uh, once again, if you love designing, if you love learning psychology, blending psychology with a, you know, user experience, like, like if you have a knack for what people would find aesthetically pleasing and you really want to focus on that and develop designs based off that, then this would be a great, uh, a great degree for you. Also, if you want to be a mobile engineer, like if you want to be an iOS developer or an Android developer, you really do have to work with user interfaces a lot, unless you're in a big company that has like a separate designer for that, like a UI UX designer. But most of the time, like iOS engineers and Android engineers, you know, you're going to be designing like user interfaces and human computer interaction, like a human computer interaction track and a computer science master's degree on top of a computer science bachelor's or software engineering bachelors would really help you out a lot. So this might be the best track for like a mobile developer uh, that I see. So if that's your interest, then I would choose this track. So if you love user experience, if you want to be a mobile developer, then I think this is the best computer science track to go with. Final track would be a computing systems track. So this track is more friendly for people that come from IT and 
maybe had an information technology bachelor's degree. So what WGU did with this computer science master's degree is they made it very friendly for all types of tech degrees to enter into this computer science degree and even like the user experience degrees to enter into this computer science master's degree as well. So if you had an information technology degree or a cloud computing degree, basically they made this track uh, very friendly for you guys. So this will go over cloud computing, it will go over and network engineering as well. So if you come from the network engineering WG de degree, this will be a good track for you too. So this track covers network architecture, uh, probably some network engineering, it covers internet of things, it covers cloud computing, uh, let's see what else here it covers. Yeah, it covers uh, modern computing infrastructure. So yeah, basic internet of things, cloud stuff, network stuff, um, infrastructure stuff. Uh, so if you are coming from like an IT field, then this would be a good master's degree. Now, WGU didn't really include any cybersecurity in any of these, and that's because they already have a cybersecurity master's degree. They don't want people that are strictly interested in cybersecurity, like all doing this degree, and then nobody does their cybersecurity master's degree. So you won't really find any cybersecurity stuff in these in these two new degrees. Now, I if you're asking me if this track would be a good track, it depends. If you really want to stay in IT, it would be a good track. Like if you really want to excel your cloud career or get into cloud, if you want to excel your network career, like you're a network engineer and you want to stay a network engineer and you want a master's degree, this would look great, right? Um, if you want to learn more about Internet of Things, uh, more of the hardware side too. Like if you're more interested in hardware, this would probably be a better to, better track than the other two. So if you really want to stay in IT, you want to stay like a network engineer, you want to stay a cloud engineer, you want to learn about Internet of Things, th this would be a good track for you. But if you're like art, if you're in IT, you're coming from like an information technology degree, you work in IT or you work in cybersecurity, um, but you want to transfer over to a different uh, tech field. You want to work in software engineering. Uh, you want to work in AI engineering. Okay, like you want to work in data engineering. Um, you want to work in one of those. I'd, I'd possibly do maybe one of the other tracks, possibly even the software engineering degree, but maybe one of the other tracks here, especially if you want to be an AI engineer. Um, so this just all depends what you want to do. So now WGU made it so these tracks don't really have a software engineering concentration because they decided to release both a computer science master's and a software engineering master's. So you can try to get into software engineering with this computer science master's and that should be no problem at all. But if you actually want to learn software engineering, then you'll have to do one of the software engineering uh, tracks and the software engineering master's degree. Now, if WGU didn't do that software engineering master's degree, there would definitely be a very in-depth software engineering track in this computer science master's, no question about it, but they decided to not do that. So if you are already a software engineer, I don't really think doing the software engineering degree uh, is going to like help you in the job market that much because you're already a software engineer with experience. Now, if you just want to learn software engineering more, like you want to learn more information and just continue your software engineering career, then obviously it would be a good degree for you to get. Software engineer, you can do a computer science master's with like the AI track, uh, and then you kind of have like two outs. Or you can basically do the human computer interaction track, and that might, like if you're a web developer, like a software engineer front end web developer, then you can basically try to get into mobile engineering if you want to be like an iOS developer and that maybe that can help you out doing the human computer interaction track. So it all depends what you want to do. Um, if you're, if software engineering is your goal, you can really do either degree. Now, if you don't have any software engineer experience, like no software engineer experience, you're still a new grad. You've never worked in the tech industry. Then I might recommend the software engineering degree. Uh, if you already have a computer science bachelor's, so a computer science bachelor's really gives you a lot of fundamentals, um, all the theory that you need to really be a good you know, engineer, uh, like all the computer science fundamentals you need to know. And then the, the software engineering masters would teach you all the application that you need to know. So if you really have not worked in the field at all yet and you want to be a software engineer, like software engineer is your goal, 
then I'd probably recommend the Computer Science Bachelor's and Software Engineering Master's. Now, if you have a Software Engineering Bachelor's, that's where it becomes okay. Now you can do either or. Uh, I would kind of flip-flop it, though. Like, if you did the Software Engineering Bachelor's, I don't think you necessarily need the Software Engineering Master's. I would do the Computer Science Master's degree instead of the Software Engineering Master's, and you could pick whatever track you want. So I think it would look better on your resume. So if you're coming from the Software Engineering Bachelor's, I would do the Computer Science Master's, especially if you've not worked in the industry yet. And then if you really want to be a software engineer and you already have a Computer Science Bachelor's, I would do a Software Engineering Master's. If you already worked in the industry, I don't really think these things matter unless you are trying to make a career change. Then the AI track would probably be good if you want to try to get into AI and machine learning. Uh, or if you want to become a mobile developer, the human computer interaction track could be pretty good for you as well. So um, this degree, I will do it myself. I haven't chosen which one I want to do, computer science or software engineering, or which track I want to do. So you guys will know which one I pick uh, before April, probably. So, and I will, I'll let you guys know. And I've made a WGU Facebook group for the computer science master's degree. And I will also make one for the software engineering master's degree pretty soon here. So if you're going to do the computer science master's, you can join the WGU Facebook group I have made, which I'll put in the description and the pinned comment. So, and we can all work together. So we can all help each other out, all work together, all pick each other's brain, which I think would be pretty fun. You know, that's what makes WGU great. That was, that's what makes online education great is that we can all pick each other's brain. Uh, Reddit is very useful. The Facebook groups are very useful. And whenever we get stuck, we can just, um, you know, have information, share information with each other so we can just really help each other out. And to me, that's what makes online education great. I'm uh, sure you have that in a physical classroom as well, but it's very limited. You know, not every student's going to help you. And it's a class size of probably 20 or 25. So you might have one or two people that might help you, whereas online you have hundreds of people that are willing to help out. I will end this video by saying if you're going to ask me, should I do this? To, like, let's say you're a new grad and you haven't worked in the industry. If you're a new grad and you have not worked in the industry and you're going to ask me if you want, if you should do this degree or get a job, I would say both. Try to get a job and do this degree. Okay. Now, if you want to do one or the other and you don't need the money, then I would probably just jump straight into the master's. The job market has gotten a little saturated. And I do think being a fresh grad master's, obviously, you know, common sense looks better than a, a new grad bachelor's. And knowing WGU, I'm assuming we can accelerate this degree. Uh, I'm sure the normal timeline will be two years. But for us that really, really hustle, we can probably get this to one year or a year and a half. So, you know, most of us are probably going to try to aim for one year. I think a six month degree would be a little ambitious when it comes to computer science or software engineering. So especially a master's degree. So I personally, I would not aim for six months myself. I'd probably do at least two terms with this degree. Um, and if it's three terms, so be it, but I will be trying to aim for two. I'm sure most of you will be trying to aim for two as well. So uh, once again, guys, join the Facebook group if you need any help and we can all help each other out. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please like, comment, subscribe if I helped you in any possible way. And once again, I will be going over each track. So each track will get their own video and I'll go over the curriculum one by one and I'll go over more of an analysis of each course. So once again, this was just a general video, a preview of the degree. So once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Till next time.